And of Andrew Tate. No, it's not. From a police raid on their mansion resulting in Andrew and Tristan Tate being held in a Romanian jail cell for over three months. Oh, uh, that was... That was... That, that, guys, we are in freaking YouTube freaking jail for three months as well, man. At least we can post on the second channel, man. Sorry. All the way to spending 30 days under house arrest with some of the most serious... Guys, I don't hear much about this dude except like his tweets. This charge is possible. It wouldn't be a stretch to say the Tate brothers have had a wild ride for the past six months. But with the recent developments in their case, it seems like this is just the beginning. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I guess he's not saying much because of the case that's going on, guys. They create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be taking a look at the recent news and developments in the Tate Brothers saga. Following the- The Tate Brothers! They moved from jail to house- Oh, he's got a fireplace going in a mansion. The when is he not in a mansion, guys, right? 31st of March, 2023, Andrew and Tristan would receive a warm welcome from their inner circle and hardcore fans. It was from then on that Andrew would begin to reinforce the idea that the Matrix had plans to kill him. In his mind, he calls everything the Matrix, guys. <laughs> if they weren't able to silence him in jail, they'll do so with a bullet. I prepare my body to absorb the brutal kinetics of piercing. Guys, he always he always dramatizes his tweets, and that's what makes him and his life really, guys. <laughs> Lead. As all silencing attempts fail and stage 3 approaches, I anticipate a bullet will be the chosen utensil of pacification. I can only pray and prepare. I no, don't say that about yourself, bro. Come on. I will force myself to breathe the best I can. The Matrix isn't trying to, like, finish you off, bro. I promise. There's internet haters that are, you if know. If they kill me, I love you all. A message that would really resonate in the hearts and minds of his most dedicated fans, with many believing that the Matrix was after Andrew for the message that he preached, and that the entire criminal investigation was simply a ploy to keep him down and silenced. A ploy that massively backfired, resulting in Andrew looking like the underdog going up against an all-powerful institution. And then when Ice Poseidon goes overseas, they get him. Andrew goes overseas, they get him. And his brother. Now he's gotta live there. Ice Poseidon's gotta live there. What is going on, guys? The fact that he was placed in a cell for 90 days without any charges added some credence to this idea. The Streisand effect seems to be in full swing. The Matrix was... Guys, why do they keep doing this, bro? But hey, it's better than what Ice Poseidon did, guys. Ice Poseidon was only in for like a day. Trying to silence the Tate brothers. Guys, it's like some international freaking conspiracy, bro. I don't want to get like... Do like a, you know, freaking... Tin foil, but it seems like that, guys. Which only made their side of the story more convincing. Or that's at least how it seemed on the surface. As in the short months later that followed, their transition to house arrest would be flooded with new evidence. Snap. New discoveries, new, new discoveries. Needed on interviews. She's making the point that there is a... Has she accused me of a crime? ...emotional or psychological manipulation. I've asked you a question, and I've... And serious litigations that completely turned things upside down. Guys getting on CNN and stuff, that's a huge accomplishment. On the 10th of May 2023, The Sun released an article detailing the real reasons the Tate brothers were released from jail and moved into house arrest. The 80-page court order that the article was based on outlined the true nature of the investigation. Prosecutors from DICOT, Romania's organized crime busters, had attempted to argue the Tates were a danger to the alleged victims. Quote, Prosecutors from DICOT, Romania's organized crime busters, had attempted to argue the Tates were a danger to the alleged victims, but the judges at the Court of Appeal disagreed and said the brothers on house arrest would ensure I'm sure he just wants to be an internet celebrity. A fair investigation. In the judge's eyes, the investigation wouldn't be negatively impacted by the Tates being under house arrest. Even stating, quote, The Tates were not a risk as they were highly educated, lacked a criminal record, and were socially integrated. Uh, guys, I kept seeing Tate show up on my, like, TikTok recommended and YouTube shorts recommended, like, short after short. I just kept scrolling, bro. But now I don't really see him at all, guys. I don't know what happened to the guy. Past like month and a half, two months. He just doesn't show up on my feed, guys. Uh, the algorithm is, just doesn't want to promote him. I, I don't know, guys. This proved that the Tate brothers weren't released as a result of the prosecution's lacking evidence, but due to the judge wanting to make the investigation fair. Speaking of investigation and evidence, Dicot stated that they, quote, have thousands of documents and pieces of evidence, even going further to say that the investigation into them will be complete by July, which could indicate that the Tate brothers 
Yeah, bro, well, it is, uh, it's August 1st now, guys. We'll be charged within the month of June, possibly going into early July. Going from jail to house arrest was a win for the Tate brothers, but the investigation was nearing a... Yeah, they're, they're letting off the freaking... They could have held him for longer, guys, but... Alright, I hope they couldn't, bro, because that would suck. Locked up abroad and stuff. Conclusion. Somehow he's making tweets from there, though. He's got enough money for phone calls. Guys, where I live, phone calls to the, from, the, from the jail are like uh, $40 per call. And seem to be backed by a mountain of evidence. By the 1st of June 2023, Andrew would go on an interview with the BBC. It was his first interview after being released. However, it wouldn't be a beneficial one, as the encounter would quickly become extremely combative within minutes. Have you raped anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. The first section of the interview was mostly spent discussing things that Andrew had said in the past, and how they may relate to the current investigation. Ugh. I mean, the interviewer just straight up hammering down those questions, like straight up, man. Do you catch that tantalizing scent? Well, that's a signature aroma of today's sponsor, Vance what Global. What the heck? Your what is this sponsorship, perfect bro? Perfect destination for top notch. Uh, CBD? Which gummies? Fans oh, CBD and Delta 8. Global had the general see the share. Guys, I've never seen a, like, a cannabinoid-related advertisement, guys. Have you guys? What the heck? The Delta Usually these kind of, like, uh, spot- These kind of, um, channels that make documentary-style videos don't even get sponsors, man. It's 8 and HHC gummies with me, and let- or don't even promote Let me tell you, they've been an absolute game-changer. Think of them as a cozy blanket for your movie nights, or a peaceful lullaby after- I try those Delta 8s in there, and they don't really, but the edibles might, because edibles are strong in even, like, regular cannabis form. It's stressful so. day at work. Now, Vance Global doesn't believe in mass-produced joy. They've specifically crafted two variants of gummies, Delta 8 and HHC, each a masterpiece in its own right. And no, they're not just vegan and organic, but they're also lab-tested too. And for all my Cloak and Dagger fans out there, you'd be glad- Guys, what is HHC? To know that they ship discreetly across all 50 states. You get to enjoy your gummies without the world peeking in. Now, are you ready to invite these little delights into your life? Well, hop onto their website and grab a pack for yourself. Or even better, opt for their subscription service with a special discount code just for my audience. Use code ANARCHIST to get a sweet 20% off your order. Or go for gold with code ANARCHIST30 to snag a super th Hey, if you want some- 30% discount on subscriptions. With that being said, no, I'm good. Let's get back into the video. The reporter didn't appear to be concerned with Andrew's stay in prison, and mostly brought up out of context quotes from his past posts on YouTube, the courses on his old website, and various other sources, many of which that have been already taken down or deleted. Women who are going to court to accuse you of rape and human Sophie hasn't gone to court, Sophie and exist. I'm describing women who have The video she was referring to is from Andrew's webcam business course. In charges. The one, the first one you mentioned, the rape one's already been thrown out by a judge, because there's no evidence of it. Throughout the interview, Andrew claimed all quotes were either taken out of context or denied ever even saying anything like it. He even denies taking down his old website. Guys, that's a YouTube video that got taken down. Like, how they have been taking down my YouTube videos. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, <laughs> I'm really sad for, guys, I hope I can make, like, you know, maybe, like, a $500 by the end of the year. Hopefully 5000 right, guys? <clears throat> no website, no website's been taken down. My website's the same. It's been the same for a very long time. The comments. He's got his fingers like this, bro. I don't see that. In, I don't see that being used in interviews that much. Not even Donald Trump. What what does Donald Trump do, guys? How would you sit in an interview? Let me know in the comments below. On this website on the original website have been taken down and I wonder It why. is true that some of her references to a few podcasts were taken at face value, but the issues of his old website were concerning. His old courses that were meant to teach men how to start a webcam I mean, at the end of the day, they just want to get back to what they're doing. A oh, webcam business. Wait, what? Make 30k a month in webcam business by working with just three girls? Kristen Tate Godmo. Get girls from anywhere, anytime. Oh my gosh. OnlyFans fortune. Make money with OnlyFans with just 30 minutes of daily work. Start making 10000 a month. Oh my snap, bro. He's telling us how to do make 10000 a month. Uh, you know, doing OnlyFans, of all things. Alright, okay. 
American business that clearly took advantage of women. Andrew would go on to claim that no one was speaking out about the case, other than the imaginary individual that Legacy Media created, whilst denying his involvement with yeah, the false narrative that they have created, right guys? The webcam business. These claims become harder to believe when you take a look at the documents regarding Andrew's case. What followed was a transcript of Andrew's conversation with one of the victims. He explained his business model, referenced his courses, and stated that he wanted her to come and live with him in Romania. Andrew quoting, You're not stupid, and you probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I really do. The victim saying, Webcam? With Andrew replying, For a long time, why has he made the music in this video so loud? I can barely hear what he's, his commentary right here. It's fake. Anyone else? Any guys? What is going on? Here? That's how I wash my dirty money. After that, men started to be jealous and asking, "How can I start a webcam business?" So I started charging men to teach them. I think this is like an editing error, guys. No, no, no right, right mind way did this. Also, the document even detailed how Andrew allegedly used women to launder money and had the phrase property of Tate tattooed on their bodies. According to Andrew, all this information was fabricated by the matrix. Property of Tate, what Truth the to slander his name, the interview turned debate would eventually become so heated that Andrew's lawyer had to step in. We need to do an interview where you are going to ask questions that are going to give us the opportunity to He's got a, her, his lawyer present like it's freaking uh, an interrogation, bro. Verify some things. These are very loaded questions. Hey, that's a smart thing to do when freaking you got a court case going on, though. Not gonna lie. And so far, I'm, I'm sorry, I have a rage list and I'm talking right now. So, these are very loaded questions, and this is not- The rest of the interview was directed at the other aspects of Andrew's life, such as his impact on young men and claims of charity work with Andrew stating that he gives $25 million to charity annually. Finally, the interview would close on an interaction that seemed almost comical. Do you really believe you're the most influential man on the face of the planet? I'm the most Google person on the planet. Do you believe you're the most- Guys. He's saying straight up, bro, he does that. I think Mr. Beast is pretty high, high up there. He's saying Andrew Tate, bro. Is it? Andrew Tate barely got a YouTube channel. I don't think he even has one, guys, right? influential man on the face of the planet. I'm the most Googled man on the planet. That state- He said, most Googleable. Okay, okay. It would have been true back in December 2022, but current Google trends tell a different story. Two versions of the interview would be uploaded to the internet. A shorter 12 When you get that big spike and then every other like activity makes it look like a, like you're not even doing good, right? But it's hard to maintain that like high spike, guys minute version posted to the official BBC channel on YouTube and the full 38 minute version posted to Andrew's Rumble page. The latter gaining over 9 million views Bro, as a rumble page of all compared things. to the 3 million views on BBC's version. Three days later, Andrew would make a follow-up statement to address the Matrix, giving them his demands for any further interviews. Firstly, Andrew made the claim that Legacy Media Oh, he's always smoking, man. Cigars as well. Uh, failed the public by not asking interesting questions and instead focusing on what he said in the past. I thought that even the BBC, in its absolute arrogance and hubris, would be smart enough to come to me after six months being the first interview I gave to The Matrix and be smart enough to ask questions people were genuinely interested in. He went on to state that the BBC... He wanted to be more, like, respected, I guess. I don't know took clips from his older podcast and began creating a narrative that he was a human trafficker. Andrew also ignored the reference to his old webcam courses. To make sure that he wouldn't be questioned like that again, Andrew announced his new requirements for any future interviews with anyone that he thought was part of the Matrix. He wanted $50,000 donated to charity and a box of chocolates. $50,000, so we'll feed over 60,000 children for wasting an hour of my time, plus a box of chocolates. Oh, he's got a vein in like his... Pex area, bro. Must work out a lot. That is my fee from this point forward. This big. He's charging 50k for a feature, man. But for charity. The question. Who was Andrew referring to when he said news outlets outside the Matrix? Was he referring to outlets that saw him as innocent? Or maybe a Aiden Ross, because I haven't seen him on Aiden Ross for a while. Or those that presented facts about the case. The next interview was on the 12th of June 2023, with someone who Andrew claimed was outside the Matrix, 
no other than Valuetainment. He had several interviews with Andrew before, and this one was no different. The main topic being how the Matrix was attacking Andrew and stories from his time in jail. And jail as a whole, I mean, there's so many stories I can tell. There's so many different ways I, I remember it. There were times I laughed. I will sit and say some of the best days of my life were in jail. Get out of here. And hey, same here, bro. I spent six months in, like eight months total. You would eventually talk about the but it's not for something to glorify. Criminal case, although in a limited fashion. He claimed the events that the BBC discussed happened nine years ago, which is odd since his indictment is based on events that occurred in 2022. The video would become an instant fit with both Andrew Tate's fans and haters, garnering over 10 million views on Jeez, a four hour video. YouTube. The narrative of the Matrix attack was pulling a public sentiment towards That's a much longer interview by somebody that, that he respects more. Because, you know, they give him a BBC just uh, doing a, like, quick 37-minute, like, a attack on Tate, it seems. For the most part, right? It looks, like, it looks like, but it's not all of it, you know. This guy's editing it down to make it seem like it's mostly attacks. Andrew, and he intended to take full advantage of it. His first emergency meeting stream happened a few days later and had over 400,000 concurrent viewers. During the meeting, Andrew stated that Got the RGB, got a full-on studio with his brother. There were parts of the case that he couldn't discuss, but he made several claims about what they were accused of. He claimed the case had nothing to do with the webcam business, but was all about stealing money from girls' TikTok accounts. Hey Tristan, you used to run a webcam studio. I no longer run one, but yes, I used to. How is this linked into the case? That has nothing to do with the case. But the narrative is that I formed a criminal gang when my net worth was already over a hundred million dollars. We allegedly formed this gang to steal money from TikTok accounts. That is the narrative. That is what I have been- TikTok accounts, man. TikTokers are getting rich nowadays, it seems. How do you steal money from TikTok accounts? Arrested for, and this is the first time publicly I could finally clear that up. The Tate brothers gave the impression that the entire case was built upon lies, and that it was highly unlikely that they'd be charged with anything. But this guys, that is the same microphone Oda Block has. Would be far from what happened. On the 21st of June 2023, the Tate brothers and their two associates would be formally charged with human trafficking in continuous form, the formation of criminal organization, and grape in continuous form. Dicot's latest press release added several damning details about the case, in addition to the original allegation. Guys, you know it's been sounding good for me, like, I feel like I, I want to try like boba tea, bro, with like the little chocolatey balls in it. it it, it, it just sounds like a good thing to try. The Tate brothers were charged with, quote, illegal access to the computer system, alteration of the integrity of computer data, and Wait, is he countersuing here? Negation and hitting or other violence, as well as, quote, the seven victims identified during the criminal investigation were subjected to forced labor. Of the seven victims who were sexually exploited by the organized crime group, three became civil parties in the criminal process. Dicot went on to state that they had confiscated 15 properties with the IFOV County, 15 luxury cars, shares within four commercial companies. Guys, what do they do with all this stuff, bro? D d does the department keep it or something? And three million dollars in cryptocurrency. The investigation was- Snap, we got a crypto wallet as well? Smart dude. Was complete, and they were going to trial. But in Dicot's own words, situation that cannot in any way defeat the principle of presumption. They got full-on face masks and everything, bro. Question of innocence. Just a day later, Andrew would address the situation by complaining about the bad press and claiming the media was corrupt. For one year they've attacked me, and they will not stop. I've been offered to sell my soul. All I had to do was shut up. If I would have sold my soul to a large corporation, and then this attack happened, then this large corporation would speak to the media, and the media... They wouldn't be treating me as an enemy, they would treat me as an ally. All I had to do was sell my soul, and I refused. Andrew made sure not to mention the case in any capacity. He was more concerned with swaying the public opinion. He wants the public to believe that the entire case was a conspiracy created by the Matrix. But looking back at Andrew's own statements about this webcam business. Man, bro. 
Weren't we talking about something like that The reason earlier? he moved to Romania for the sack of corruption and courses that he sold, it doesn't seem like an attack. The evidence in the case describes Andrew's strategy of recruiting women, which is identical of which he taught in his own course. He would approach women with the intent- now, now he's just trying to win his case, bro. When you're locked up, it's, that's all you think about is winning the case. Intention of getting them to do sex work, making them fall in love with him, and then bring them back to Romania to work for him. This strategy bears a striking similarity to the one used by convicted Romanian trafficker Leo. <laughs> Romanian authorities have had issues with crimes of trafficking for a long time, and organizations like the Council of Europe's Group of Experts on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings and they, they fall on locked up there, bro. The also known as Greta have gotten involved, instructing Romanian authorities to prioritize action against human yeah, Human trafficking is a serious crime, though. Trafficking. Not saying you did it, but... Dang, that's been that's going on in Romania? Man, that's scary. It's safe to say that Romanian authorities have a vested interest in seeing the case through. On the 29th of June, Andrew decided to go on another interview to further discuss his current predicament. He would also continue to frame the charges as a subjective matrix attack and generally downplay the evidence brought forwards. So I have a narrative which is countering their narratives that they control and they feel like that I need to be punished for that. And they're massively influential and powerful and now I find myself in the position I'm in with a matrix attack. Apparently he got too big and his message was too controversial and the human trafficking charges were completely unexpected. I knew that some kind of attack was coming. I didn't expect to get hit with this human trafficking. And bro, more charges? Insane. Considering what he said on a previous interview with James English, Hey, he could be found not guilty on these though. It doesn't seem at all unrelated. 75 women worked for me at the peak of it all. But that was a mistake because when you have a bunch of girls working for you like that, the only way you can motivate them is with money. When I started, the girls worked for me because they loved me, right? That's the old school pimp game, isn't it? I love this man. We're on our way to the top together. But when you get too big, you can't have all these girls in love with you. I mean, you can only f so much. Like, we're all human, right? So I cut down to like a special forces team of around eight girls. And that's where I made my most money. When I had four girlfriends, my brother had four girlfriends. I was turning over 400 grand a month. The story of the Tate brothers is a long. It's like a harem, bro. Long and fascinating one packed with unanswered questions. Why did they take down their old website and courses? And was Andrew really predicting the Matrix next move? Or is it all just an attempt to cover his tracks? There are two main ways that people view the Tate brothers current situation. One side believes it's entirely a product of the Matrix. And the other side assumed that the crimes of his past are finally catching up to him. Andrew has yet to be proven guilty. Guys, right, so that's a... Uh... Uh, so you apologize for the audio error it wasn't present in the earlier versions of the edit. might cut it out, but the information is pretty important. You can just quote and test on screen. Really sorry about it, guys. Okay. The wild thing is, if you did watch his old videos at any time in the past few years, you knew he claimed to be a participating in exploitation, intimidation, and manipulation with the aid of his bottom B-word. Quite literally his own words. I love that one. He once claimed that he doesn't watch movies or anything fictional for it sort of deludes your mind, yet he uses a movie metaphor for his entire defense. Realistically, the, the worst thing you could do is go for an interview when you have some serious allegations on your head, no matter if they're true or not. Great to see how fast you're growing. Uh, God, I hope it's the end. Who's this? Ver verified account called Seed. What? That was one video. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> just promoting your discord okay guys that that's a video guys thank you guys for watching peace out everyone thank you guys and i'll see you guys next one